Hi everybody, Captain Rob Thompson here. Uh, today I want to show you on the Parker, I'm changing out the fuel water separator, the housing. Because over time, what happens is you'll see on here, is you get the salt build up on this ring. And you'll get it on the filter itself. And then you'll start to, once you change these filters out, you'll get high and low spots. And then you'll start to seep air past it and then you'll be losing fuel pressure. And then your engine will be shutting off and priming the bulb up and then trying to figure out if it's in the tank or whatnot and then changing filters. And But uh, one of the things we've been doing is sanding these down every time, every year you do your regular seasonal maintenance, you can change a filter out. You always run some sandpaper around this ridge right here. Um, another thing is I don't like to use the grease anymore. Everybody used to put grease on the top of the filter, spin it up on there. That's actually making it cake up and get even worse. So on the new one you're going to see me use is I'll use the uh, fogging oil. I'll just spray it on there. It'll dissipate. It'll go through into the fuel and through the motor and it won't hurt anything. And it won't get built up or chunky. But on uh, that one I can't tell you how many years that one is. I came on the Parker so I'm changing that with the new one. For 45 bucks I get the, the new housing and two filters. So you can't beat that. So there's a, there's a tip for you. Always... Knock this down some sandpaper every year when you're changing your filters out or make sure whoever's doing your service is doing it. Because on this one, I was knocking it down, but it's still building up anyway, and I just don't want to deal with that on the water. So I'm changing the whole thing out. So there you go. As I'm taking a picture for this, I remember too that I didn't actually show you guys how to get the filter off if you're doing this on your own. The reason why I 5200 those screws into the transom is because if you put this on or somebody puts on the seal is dry, you really have to ratchet it off there. So what we use is just a filter wrench. This one is sized for fuel water separators. You can get them in all different sizes for oil filters or for whatever you need. But for this application, when you have the gap underneath, you can slide it underneath, get it up on there. When you turn this, it'll tighten itself to the size of the filter without crushing it, and then you're able to turn and get it off. You can also snug them and put them on using it in the opposite direction. It'll tighten it and spring it on there. But you can see that when you put torque it, it'll actually get tighter and grip the filter. So that's what you usually pick these up at Napa or any auto parts store. They have these things all over the place. And that's it. Alright, so there you go. Fuel water separator is in. Crank those screws down in there. Put a little 5200 on the screws because I do not want it to come out. So that's why you use 5200 for things that you don't want to strip or come out. That's why they're cranked in there. They're also long long but at least two inches long so they're almost to the back of the transom because I hate wrench on this thing and having to pop out. Um, you got a new fuel lines, uh, double hose clamped, I hate zip ties even if they're the fuel rated zip pod ties they're still garbage. The, uh, don't use it on anything main like this. If you need it on the motor go for it if it's on the carburetor and stuff. Some of the Yamahas come with them zip tied up on there but uh, everything in the boat I like double hose clamped. Um, all the fittings have Teflon tape on them. I like Teflon tape on these because I don't want any of the pipe thread goop to get inside of it. So I use thread on this. Um, when I do the steering mechanisms on there for the Sea Star, I only use the plumber's putty because you'll actually void the warranty if you use the tape on the steering. So on fuel systems, I like tape. On steering, I like the putty. But uh, that's it nice and clean uh, there's new fuel lines on both sides and everything going to the motor over here I got one hose clamp on this end only because it's kind of hard to get to on that small fitting but uh what I want is, is I want to be able to take this off if I'm on the water if I have to have trouble with anything I want to be able to get in and diagnose it and try to figure out another way so if I have a fitting like this it's a little harder for me to get apart compared to just taking that out I can use anything to get that off so I like that on there just for trying to rule out anything. So that's it.
those are the those are the new fittings. Fuel system's all set. The uh, tank was changed out last year. My fuel's still clean after sitting for a year, and uh, everything should be good to go. If you got any questions or comments about this? You can always get a hold of me, Captain Rob Thompson, at gmail.com. And uh, this boat's gonna need to get a bath here shortly. It's getting pretty pretty funky in here from sitting around and one good tropical storm. So time for time for a bath. So that'll be coming up soon. So uh, thanks again for following, and I'll talk to you soon.